Okay, hello, hello, cheers Kevin here and welcome back to Let's Make a Studio. And uh, the floor is up once more and you can see, um, I, actually, I have these off right now just so that it's audible, but dehumidifier, fan, and uh, air purifier um, have all been running. This actually, this whole thing was pretty much wet underneath here and uh, that's just the last little bit of flooring that I have taken up. Um, and this will at least allow it to dry out. You can see over here, yeah, it's even, you can see the discoloration in the paint. Um, that wall is wet. So there's water behind that drywall. Hopefully it'll be able to dry out a little bit, but we don't know. Um, and unfortunately this is, yeah, this is far from the only room down here that we have to worry about. Um, so, um, it is heartbreaking to have to take up this floor because it feels like, you know, I put, a long amount of time in it. For a lot of people, I guess laying down flooring is a you know weekend project. For me, it was weeks and weeks of work because it was laying down you know kind of a couple boards at a time when I could hammer and not annoy people. Um, so yeah, it's frustrating because uh, you know this stuff that I put a lot of, put a lot of time into is now gone. <laughs> but uh, onward and upward, right? Um, so the quest, some questions though, um, as far as the Let's Make a Studio is concerned, is, uh, what, is what, what are the future plans now? Um, and the answer is, I, I don't know. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this room is far from the only room that we have to worry about. Um, and particularly with the water staining that drywall and suspicions that there may be cracks in the concrete behind drywall elsewhere in the basement, um, we're gonna have to probably have contractors in here and see what they're able to do. They may need to tear down a bunch of drywall so they can patch up some concrete. They may need to do other treatments. It may cost a, a very exorbitant amount of money. And that means that having a spare budget to be like, oh, I'm just gonna insulate between the joists here so that we get some, some noise uh, attenuation and then, you know, um, not really the biggest priority. The biggest priority right now is just making sure that we don't develop mold and mildew. Um, because the health of the family is uh, more important than having a luxury, fancy place. <sighs> um, that doesn't mean I can't speculate as to what we might do at some point when we have the time. Um, and part of that is, um, uh, so as far as what do we do with this room? Well, if we need options that are resilient to very rare flooding, or at least, because I don't want to tear this up ever again. Um, one of the options that we would have would be to look at something as luxury vinyl tile, LVT, I think. So apparently it's a tile that you can put down that can be, you know, kind of mimic wood or mimic tile or whatever. Um, but is a lot more resilient to water damage. And even if it does get water damaged, you can cut up a tile and put down a new tile. And that would be fantastic. Because here, you know, if there's water at the back of the floor, you know, they're, they're all locked together. You got to start uh, at the at the edge and pull it all up. And of course, now these are all worked to the point where, you know, I've got to figure out some way to throw all of this away. Um, so we might go with something like that. We might also go with something like an epoxy flooring um, and just use, use uh, I don't know, a rug on top of that or something. Um, I don't know. In the meantime, though, um, this is going to have a significant impact on my ability to make and release videos, which is a bit of a bummer, um, because it's not just here, but the, the area that I've been using is sort of a temporary office, <laughs> temporary office for a long time. Um, oh, well, I had stuff on cabinets, cabinets which probably now also need to be torn out and gotten rid of, um, which is also going to be interesting and expensive. Um, <laughs> But that does mean, as far as having a setup to, to do a lot of this hobby stuff, don't necessarily know when that's, when that's, when that's gonna work. It requires time, it requires money, and those are kind of uh, magically now completely spoken for. Um, or maybe I'll end up producing, finding some way to produce stuff just because I need a distraction from, <laughs> from having to try and fix up the house. Um, it is, it's gonna be a lot of work. It, we're, we're worried that some of the water leakage may be from areas that are not particularly accessible, like under uh, the deck in the backyard, which would mean having to tape, tear up the whole deck. 
to get access down there, uh, or uh, you know under the driveway or things like that, which are not going to be fun places to worry about. Hopefully, whatever they do, they're, they'll be able to seal stuff from the inside. Maybe they'll be able to leave the drywall up. Maybe they won't, and then we'll <laughs> we'll get to repaint in here too. Um, probably one thing that I am uh, really considering just because if I'm losing kind of even a temporary office area is I do need a place for a little bit of privacy to be able to make calls and stuff. The temporary office area doesn't have a door, which has been kind of frustrating, but um, I might set up the whisper room. I might order um, a caster plate for the whisper room so you can get it so you can wheel it around. Um, that's never been something that's I particularly needed and certainly wouldn't be a good idea on floating floor because you don't want to have, because that makes it sit on you know, however many wheel points instead of distributed across the area of the whisper room. But on concrete, that's not an issue. Um, so maybe we'll go with something like that. And then that does mean that, you know, the, the whole area will be sitting up, you know, a couple inches off the ground, which means that if there is flooding, well, okay, you know, maybe the casters do get a little bit wet, but who cares? Um, and that everything else, for the most part, is fine does mean I've got to be very careful to make sure I don't leave cables and stuff along the ground because electricity hazard. Um, yeah, flooding is pretty crazy. Um, I want to appreciate the comments, uh, say, voice my appreciation for some of the comments that have been left. Uh, as far as insurance, I'm trying to figure out um, what's covered. I suspect not much because we don't have uh, flood insurance. We're not in an area that's particularly flood prone and this has kind of really taken us uh, by surprise. I mean, we're we're pretty elevated um, where we're at, so uh, I mean, but it you know it happens. Um, we're we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to see how things work. But um, as far as this series goes, I guess we'll continue it uh, as there are things to update about. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to make a video of putting the whisper room together. Um, if I get the caster plates, I'm gonna have to wait for that to arrive and then uh, build the the walls back up and stuff on top of there. Um, and then if, uh, yeah, if we do other stuff. As far as other series go, I know I have one more SevTech video that is recorded. I should be able to edit that and get that up at some point. Um, but as far as being able to record more stuff, I don't know. I, it, may, it may be a while, which is a real bummer. We're gonna have to see. But that is, uh, that is the update. I woke up in a really good mood this morning and it is now whole end of the day. I mean, we're early into the next morning um, after lots of vacuuming water, lots of uh, trips back and forth getting dehumidifiers and such and tearing up flooring and trying to, <laughs> try, trying to get things cleaned up, trying to double check that all of our gutters are clear, trying to find any areas where <clears throat> there may be some slope Letting, letting stuff into the house, uh, um, working on the outside of the house, and uh, I don't know. This does it, it. It's just it's it's too much rain, and and the house could wasn't wasn't able to handle it. So, uh, going to be spending a, a lot of time and money trying to compensate for that in the near term. But I appreciate uh, the support, and I will speak with you as soon as I can. Cheers.